Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. We are back with the What's Sold video. Um, these are my favorite kind of videos on YouTube. I mentioned that before, so hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. This week it's about $1,600 in sales. And someone asked a question about how um, far back are the sales that we're seeing here. They're about a month, three weeks, four weeks, maybe four and a half, depending on when I get the video done. I have all the recordings, obviously, from when I first sell the item, but it takes me a minute to get everything loaded up and we're kind of backlogged. So I'm trying to get caught up. I'd like to try to release an extra video maybe around um, Thanksgiving, try to release a second one to get another week caught up. So we'll see if I can do that. I'm not sure, but hopefully we can. So these ones are actually from October. Hope you guys enjoy the content. And also I'm gonna try to put out a couple of GoPro videos from Storage Unit Guy. I have some footage I've had, I just haven't had time to edit it, but I'm trying to squeeze that into the schedule just so people can kind of see that. I know some people mentioned they like seeing what, what he had and when I mention him and all the stuff I buy from, they kind of want to see what I'm looking at. Um, on his sales though, you'll see I have to voice over because there's always loud music. Um, there's a lot of cursing too sometimes by him and by some other people that are there. So hope you guys enjoy this content though. And if you have any questions, let me know. Hey everyone, we're back with the sales update for Monday. Seven sales to start off. Pretty good start to the week. Nothing crazy. We have a couple things still pending payment from the weekend and we still have two hours or so left in the day, two and a half. Um, so we'll see if anything else is added in. If you remember the last sales update video, um, this sale was supposed to be there. I thought it was, but it actually counted for to, for Monday sales. I was off on when it had sold. So um, this is actually the little squirrel um, bobblehead from a local uh, minor league baseball team, uh, Lake Elsinore Storm. So I'm not showing you him. You'll see him on the screen. I don't want to pull him out because it's a pain to get him out of there. But um, he sold for 20 bucks. These were giveaways at an event. We got like four of them. And um, we kept one for my son, and we listed the other one. So hopefully we'll get around 20 a piece for him. It still should go first class. It's super light, so um, that'll be pretty good there. Uh, here's a 360. This one's been in storage for a while. You've even got some dust in here. Um, this is an older one. It's got the sticker on it, which I think is what hurt it from selling. Um, when I tried to take them off, it was like leaving this nasty, sticky residue. I just didn't feel like lazily cleaning it any further than that so i listed it as is it does work i think it's a four gig console and it sold for 60 ship finally fourth quarter is the time of the year where usually i move through a lot of my video game systems um, i usually list mine a little bit on the you know higher average a little bit higher than average to the high side and um, they seem to move around christmas time the best people are probably buying them for gifts and stuff like that so uh, 60 bucks on this Probably will cost 12 or so to ship it pirate ship, maybe a little bit more, but still a good deal there. Um, here's a Discovery Channel like biking shirt. Um, it's all folded up in here, but you'll see on the screen, it sold for 29 shipped. I think I paid six bucks for it out of Savers. I had it listed for 40. I counter, I sent an offer to buyers out for 30, and somebody apparently countered back somehow or made me an offer after that for 29, so we were $1 off, so I just took it. So they'll go first class, super light, happy about that. These never made it into the plastic bag. I listed them just recently. Um, this is a piece of paper there. Sorry, these are BKE to Tyler's, I think, 32 R's. It's like a 32, 28 or something is the size. These were $4.99 plus tax at a thrift store near me called Angel View. Um, usually I never find good stuff in there anymore. Their prices are usually ridiculous. And if I find anything good, it's always just like really bad condition. But these were so cheap with no real flaws. A little bit of tiny wear in the bottom of the leg cuff there but overall good bke still sell they're not as popular as they were as they used to be but um, if you can find them for cheap usually i say five or six bucks maybe seven tops i usually get 25 to 35 for my pairs certain ones do a little bit better certain sizes so those will go in a pad of flat rate for seven something and i don't know whatever that total is we'll make some money there i'm happy with that kind of sell for clothing uh this is a vanguard military like um what is it a tie clip or something like that tie clasp yeah this one sold for 10 shipped um, i bought a whole bunch of these little things for a buck from one of my sources i have like three or four of them they all should sell anywhere from eight to twelve bucks so ten bucks they already made my dollar back in some more uh same source i bought a bunch of video games for 15 bucks this was in there um it's like a little game saves for xbox this one sold for 12 shipped and then lastly this came out of the 1600 dollar buy this is a limited Dad. edition Legos, and that's my son. He's saying hi. Hi, buddy. He's walking away, but um, this is like a Lego set. They're all sealed in there. Obviously, the plate's not, but it is sealed. I took a best offer of 40 on this. Again, it came out of the $1,600 lot, so we're probably up to almost $800 in sales off that or something like that, so 
It'll be 900, so we're slowly building up. Haven't made all of our money back yet, but we have so much inventory um, listed, and there's still a bunch of video game stuff out of the $400 portion that hasn't sold yet, so that's still coming. We're going to make well over what we paid, um, definitely more than double what we paid in profit. Um, we'll make at least 1600 back, but probably more like 2000 2500 when it's all said and done. So it's a good deal, a lot of work, um, and it'll take a little while to get the money, but another 40 bucks here, so that's awesome. If anything else sells, I'll let you guys Final two sales from Monday. Uh, we sold NASCAR 09 for $360 for $9 shipped. It sold within like a week or so, maybe 10 days. So pretty good deal. And no manual. It sold for nine shipped. And we sold NCAA Football 14. Um, this was 10 bucks at a thrift store. Um, their games were 20 bucks each, but half off. So luckily this game has enough value to make it worth it. Paid 10, it sold for 75 shipped. It's taken about two weeks. So good deal there. This one I'll send out actually probably in a padded flat rate just to offer it some more protection and insurance. And then this one will go out first class. Hello everyone, back with the sales from Tuesday. A uh, pretty good day here. Um, I'm actually one more sale I have to show you guys. I hope I can get that in the next clip. But we'll go over what we did sell. Starting off with the clothing item. This is an American Eagle Outfitter. It's got like the faux fur there. Um, jacket, it's distressed. This one was 10 bucks at... A Goodwill and it sold for 55 shipped on a best offer so it's pretty cool it's a size medium so a smaller size prefer to have like at least extra large but finally got someone interested so they're happy with that we also got this huge this is master chief if you're not familiar you can see he's a big tall master chief by Jack Pacific I think from 2000 15 or 60. I think it's a newer one. I don't think it's that old. Um, he was 20 bucks at a garage sale. Um, I used to play this game a lot growing up. Still do a little bit now too every once in a while. But um, I saw this for 20. Had to pick it up. I listed it and it sold for 90 shipped. Um, I got to check because I don't know where it's going. But uh, it's going to be a little expensive to ship. Probably 30 or 40 bucks. Um, so I think I probably underpriced it a little bit, um, especially with the size. He doesn't weigh that much, so we'll see. And if it's going somewhere close, we'll be okay. But this is one where I probably, um, I think I underpriced it too much because shipping might be a little high. So we'll see. We won't lose any money on it, though. Um, Star Wars, uh, these are, what are they called? Galactic Battle Games. Um, there's four of them here. Two of them are the same, this guy in the middle here. These were from the $1,600 um, toy and video game buy. You can see a couple videos back. Um, these ended up selling for 48 shipped uh, in a lot together. These ones didn't have a ton of value individually. So 48 shipped on those. Here is a Atari game. This is the game program Adventure. Uh, this this goes to a 2600 Atari. I bought a bunch of stuff in the same $1,600 buy. I had a bunch of Atari stuff. I pulled out this game because it sells individually for about 10 bucks, and that's what it sold for. So pretty good there. Here's an AT&T Pantech P7040P. This one I sold as is for 40 bucks. It appears to be new, but um, it looks like it might have an issue where it wasn't scanned when it left the store or whatever. I don't know. Um, so I sold it for a $40 best offer um, as is. So that was pretty cool. A Resident Evil book here. This one sold for eight shipped. I came in a big lot of books that I had bought. And then here's another chess book from the chess lot we had bought. Sold for 18 shipped. The Queen's Gambit. These chess books have been doing so well. And then a Sega Dreamcast system with a controller and the cords sold for 65 shipped. This sold within like a week. So I always love picking these up. This also came from the $1,600 buy. I got three or four Dreamcasts in there. So two of them have already sold for 65. I need to test and get the other two listed. So that's it for right now. Hopefully there'll be one more clip to show you guys and then what sells on Wednesday. Hey everyone, back with the sales update for Wednesday. A pretty, pretty good day, I guess. One pretty big item and a couple of solid sales. Um, you would think I'm a clothing seller because most of them are clothing, but I'm um, actually not really. I'm trying to get rid of as much clothing as possible, but we did move a few things. So we'll jump in with the best item. It is this. Um, this is a Dake number one. I have no idea. It looks like almost like a vice type machine piece. It's super heavy. I picked this up from storage unit guy. I think I paid 200 that day when I bought a bunch of camera stuff, and then this was included. I've already probably made over 200 back on everything, so I've made into the profits, and then this sold for 120 today shipped. It's super heavy, but it's nice and compact, so if I'm going to sell something heavy, I'd rather have it either be books for media mail or something like this that can fit 
go pirate ship or maybe something like that. At least it's condensed so you don't get the oversized package charge. So it's also going pretty close to me, so we're okay. There. That's why I took the offer of 120. So 120 is a great deal there. Still probably will cost a little bit to ship it, you know, maybe 15 bucks, 20 bucks or something like that, but super happy to get rid of it. Here's an old Nike polo. Uh, this one sold for 20 shipped. It sold once before. The person returned it until they just um, didn't fit them perfectly. Uh, I have the measurements in there, so we listed it again. It sold for 20. Happy about that. Um, probably wouldn't pick it up again. I think it was like five bucks at a thrift store. Here's a San Francisco kind of vintage looking um, crew neck. It's got like this old school football stuff going on there. Um, this one I think was six bucks at a thrift store as well, five or six bucks. Thought it might be cool and someone want it, but it took forever to sell. Sent an offer out to Watchers yesterday. It sold for 20 on that offer. Here's a Santana Moss, uh, Redskins kind of players of the century jersey. That sold for 35 ship. That was also from Storage Unit Guy. Here's a military like Woodland camo um, shirt. Um, this one sold for I think 20 ship as well. It had a stain on it um, on one part, but I know a lot of. Um, not just, this isn't really just a military thing. A lot of people will buy this who also um, do hunting and stuff like that just because of the camo. So I know a lot of them will use this. This sold for 20 ship, which is still a good deal. Also came from storage unit guy. And so did this. This is a Franklin Bookman little um, Bible. I sold the last one for 30 ship, came with the manual in a case. This one did not work though. I had thrown it in my pile and it just doesn't work. So I put batteries in there, nothing happened. So I sold this one for like 12 shipped for parts. Not sure why someone wants it, but I usually still can sell these for parts. Someone will pick them up. So that's it for right now, and I'll show you guys if anything else sells. Hey everyone, final sale from Wednesday. Uh, a couple of train, um, like HO scale houses here. These came in a big train lot I bought from Storage Unit Guy. I've um, already sold one box, batch of trains for like 80 bucks or something, and I've sold a couple other things out of there, and then these sold for 60 shipped. Uh, I think I paid 100 for all the train stuff, and when I priced it out, it was about 400 and something, and total sales when it's all said and done. So 60 for this little lot. Um, they're pretty bulky, but they're actually like they weigh almost nothing. So we'll put them in a box, and I might be able to still get them in a box that will go pirate ship. So we'll see. But a 60 bucks ship done. Hey everyone, back with the sales update for Thursday. Uh, six sales today, only five here. Um, I have one more that's already paid for that I'll show you guys later. And there's another sale that's pending payment. So I guess there's technically seven sales. So that might come through as well. If not, hopefully they'll pay tomorrow or this weekend so we can get that out of here. Um, what did sell was this um, manual here. I think it sold for 20 or 25 shipped. It's uh, maybe 30 shipped even. A 1999 wiring diagram for a B-series Mazda. This came out of the big manual lot. You guys have been hearing about it. If you've been watching me for a while, great deal there. This just goes in a bubble mailer, a bigger one, and then it ships medium out. Here is a game pack. This was also a pretty good deal that I had. I bought like 15 or 16, 14, something like that packs. I don't even remember. From Storage Unit Guy, I paid 150 for all of them. And I've been selling them for no, I sold one for 47, but all the rest, I think I've sold 10 of them, have all sold for... Um, 50 plus. I've sold some for 60, 70, 55, a lot of them for 50, but it's been a great deal. They just go on a pad of flat rate. There are a bunch of Nintendo game cards. Um, there's 48 packs in here, so that's been an awesome deal there. I wish I could find more. This was a buck from a garage sale, this Little Mermaid Tiger um, electronics game. It does work. This sold for 20 shipped. It'll go first class, so a good deal there. Sony Walkman, these always sell. Um, EJ011. Um, different models are worth different amounts. I did sell an MP3 one for 65 shipped a couple weeks, months back. Um, so look out for that one. This one only sold for 24 shipped, but I think it was a buck or two. And lastly, a Kia key fob. Um, this was just thrown in with storage unit guy stuff. Um, didn't know, I had to look it up to find the model because it didn't really have like a year or anything on it. This took a, sold it as is and it sold for 20 bucks shipped. I've done well with key fobs before. I always list them as is and um, if I find them, it's usually like from storage unit guy or something like that. And then I just sell them as is and say they need to be reprogrammed, may not work. And usually you take a lot less than what they sell for, but for 20 bucks for something like that that I just threw in, pretty good deal. So I'll show you guys what else sold and hopefully we'll have a couple more things aside from. Hey everyone, back with the final sale from Thursday. It is a Nintendo Wii. This is the RV 101. This is not the GameCube controller one. 
Some people have said these don't sell, but they still do. Uh, this sold for 30 shipped. Just going to put some cardboard around it and then bubble wrap it and then put it in a padded flat rate and it ships out for $7.33. It was tested and works. Comes with no con no cords, controllers, nothing like that. Hey everyone, we are back with the sales update for the weekend. I think we're at like almost $650 in sales for the three days, Friday through Sunday. So the goal is $200, so we definitely got that. I'd like to see... Uh, do a little bit better because I was hoping to make the goal next year for, you know, $300 a day or $250 a day or something like that. So we'll see if we can get there, but definitely had some sales. Nothing too crazy, but a couple of cool finds. So we'll jump right into one of my favorite finds. Um, this is Miko. He's a 36-inch Disney Pocahontas Raccoon plush. You'll see him on the screen. I'm not going to take him out, but I left him in the box because some people have asked me before why I even bother with the big plush. They're too big for shipping and everything. I just bunch them up into a, this is a 10 by 10 by 10, so I just bunch them into a box like this, tape it shut, and he's fine. Now, granted, if it's something crazy or he's got some, something that might get damaged on him, you might not want to do this, but honestly, most of my plush that I've sent out, I've never had an issue shipping them like this, I've never got any bad feedback, so just because that question came up a couple times, that's what I would do with a big plush, even though he's huge, I shove him into here. And the person's been happy. That sold for 48 shipped. I had paid about 11 or 12 bucks at Savers. Also, people were selling this for 25 plus $10 shipping, getting about 35 bucks. I went high on mine. You saw on the screen the picture's not that great, but still sold for 48 shipped. So sometimes you want to be the one setting the bar. Don't be afraid. If you have a good quality item, maybe list a little higher and see what happens. Sometimes people will pay up, um, you know, if they think yours is better quality or if it just seems like better description or something they might feel more comfortable paying especially if it's more of a collectible type thing um here are some karaoke cds i paid three bucks for all these a bunch of different ones there's rock there's like hip-hop there's some country in there i think even some spanish i believe uh, at least one or two in there so these were three bucks from one of my sources um, he has garage sales all the time um, these sold for 30 shipped on a best offer so some of the karaoke stuff does really well it used to be even better but if you can find the CD, some of them will go for crazy money. So pretty happy with that. This is a bobblehead. I think is it Ricky Henderson. You'll see on the screen. I'm not going to pull it out, but it's a little bobblehead. I think I paid like 10 bucks each or 5 bucks each for these from one of my old, old sources I had a while back. Finally got around to listing them and took a best offer at 30 shipped on these. They were listed at 40. I actually sent the offer out to Watchers and someone snatched it up. So I think I'm going to send it again because I only put quantity one and one person bought it. I had like three or four Watchers. So we might send another one out and see if someone grabs it. But 30 shipped. It's actually super light. It's going to go first class. Here is a Frankenweenie plush. He's got a little stain right there on the top. You can kind of see. This was actually my son's toy. We had got it at a garage sale, I think. I think he paid a buck for it. Uh, but he didn't want anywhere he was going to toss it. So... I decided to let's see if it was worth anything, and it was. This little Disney guy, he sold for 25 shits. Probably could have waited and got about 30 for him, even with the stain. There's not that many of them out there, but um, we'll take the 25 shits. It's going to go first class. Just throw it in the polymer and it's on its way. Here's an HP Ink. This is the CC531A. This one was 5 bucks uh, while I was on vacation, so I've had it since about June. Finally sold for 35 shipped. Again, I listed mine a little bit on the higher end. Um, didn't take offers or anything, and it sold global shipping, which is surprising. So... They're really paying a premium for that ink. Here is a Southwestern Bell Freedom Phone Caller ID, brand new. Um, seal, this was four bucks at a thrift store. Um, I may have had half off it, I don't remember, but four bucks. And this ended up selling in one, like 12 hours or so for 32 shipped. That was the highest one it sold for in the past couple of months, so that's what I put mine at. I might have been able to get more for it. I probably underpriced it a little bit because I don't think there was too much competition, but. Four bucks into 32, it's going to go first class. Look out for these sealed collar IDs. Some of them do really well. A couple of military items. This is like the liner to a jacket. This sold for 20 shipped. It goes first class, I'm pretty sure. It's super light. This came with all the military stuff I had got recently. And here are some, um, these are the navy, like, digital camo pants. These ones sold for 22 shipped, which is about what I list mine for. And it did have a small little stain on one of the pockets. Um, yeah, I think it's right there. You can kind of see it. Oh, there's, there were two stains. I forgot. Yeah, right there. They sold for 22 ships still, so good deal there. These are some Ericsson 19, or RPM 77193. You know, you can read that number. Cables with connectors. Um, I bought a bunch of this stuff, and there was a bunch of little adapters that sold for, like, 
150 bucks or something like that. And then I sold some wires recently. You may have seen that in another video from the same buy. I had these listed and a bunch of other wire, different types of wires and cables. These ones I took a best offer for 10 of them for 20 bucks. Had them listed at 40. I've already made plenty of money. I paid 30 bucks for everything for this buy. So we're well into the profits and I just want them gone. And they're going to go first class. So we might make, I don't know, 12 bucks on that, 13 bucks, something like that. Um, here's a serious little signal th antenna thing. I bought one of the Sirius radios and it had like this accessory kit. It's five bucks for the whole thing. I actually found that parting it out was more profitable because this sold for 20. The unit should sell for about 25. There's another like a connection for the car thing that should go for like 15 to 20. And inside there they also had a, some Sony piece. For whatever reason the person had left inside the accessory kit like they had opened it and put it in there and that sold for I think 16 or 17 bucks as well. So awesome deal there. Little Star Wars figure, I forgot what she sold for. She might have sold for 18, 20 bucks, I don't know, something like that, maybe less, but I paid 10 bucks from a bunch of figures, pulled out um, the Galactic Heroes ones, they sold for 40, sold another set for 19, and then this person sold, I looked her up um, using the action identification, action figure identification guide on Facebook, you guys can kind of see. Um, what she looks like, I forgot her name, you'll see on the screen. I just pushed, sent some pictures in there, and then people responded in that group and told me who it was. So if you have action figures and you don't know who they are, um, use the go to that Facebook group, Action Figure Identification, I think is what it's called. You request to join, you post a picture, and they will go ahead and um, they will tell you who it is. So pretty cool there. Here's an iPod. This is like a fifth generation or something like that. Nano crack screen does work. Uh, but sold it as is for parts for 25 shipped sold within like an hour so super cool there little ipod um nintendo 64 rumble pack this sold for 14 shipped um this is usually what i get for these some people sell them for around 10 to 15 i usually just choose 14 it does work um and it goes first class here's a little sony um power cable the aoes so oh, it's i need to stop doing that ES455, um, that one sold for like 10 ship. I think it goes to a CD player, so not that great, but I had paid a buck for it, I believe. Here's Fire Emblem 3DS, that sold for 40 shipped. Here's the Protector Season 1, I bought a bunch of DVDs for 50 cents, and this one was one of them. Came with a, a bunch of sealed stuff mostly, but this one was open and it sold for 10 ship. Took a couple of months, so happy to get rid of it. Fight Night sold for 12 shipped. This is the orange box. No, there's two games in here. They both sold. Um, the Orange Box 360 sold for, I think, 9 shipped. And this is Future Cop LAPD. I think that sold for 12 shipped. I'll get a separate case for this one. Those were disc only. Also, a Sony little remote here. I think this was 50 cents or a dollar. This sold uh, the RMSC50. That sold for 12 shipped. And then we got a, um, what is this, like a little transcriber pedal. The brand is Infinity in USB. That sold for 30 shipped. I paid five bucks. I bought two of them for five each. Uh, they, they both sold for 30 shipped within a couple of months now, and they just go into padded flat rate. Here's a little Hitachi um, paddle for a bread maker. That one I think sold for like 12 shipped. I used to have so many bread makers and food processors because I had a, this one thrift store that had a lot of electronics and appliances that you could get them all for really cheap. That's my son out there just yelling. That's what he does for fun mostly, so he's a crazy guy. But, um, yeah, he's at that almost two, so he's just out of control. But, yeah, this sold for 12 ships. I used to get a bunch of these, but um, I don't. that source is kind of dried up, so I don't have as many more. But if you can buy decent quality food processors, bread makers, you can part them out and make money. Here's some Heather Graham paperback books. There are seven of them here. These were like 3 bucks or three fifty from uh, this book source that I have. And they sold for like 19 ships. So I'm not going to make a ton, but they go medium mail. Super easy listing, and I love selling book lots. Uh, this is from the $500 service manual lot. We're at like 1700 or something, 1800 in sales before this, just in the manuals, and we paid 500 This one is the 1993 to 2003 Odyssey service manual. It is sealed. Took a best offer of 91 ship today. So that adds to that. And then this is a Civic Del Sol, a 93 um, it's an ETM manual, the electronic troubleshooting manual. This one sold for $17.50. So I also sold another manual um, this week, uh, this weekend for $25. It's like a Kia one, but I'm waiting on payments. Hopefully that'll come through. So that's everything, guys. It's like 25 items, $600 and something dollars. 
Nothing to complain about. Hopefully we'll keep improving as Q4 keeps coming on. And thank you guys for watching.